So, we'll get going. Um, I'm going to start, as I said, in alphabetical order. And the <coughs> question we set in advance was, uh, what would you do as a candidate to uh, make culture and creativity thrive in Devon? And so we'll start, as I said, uh, with Yvonne Atkinson. So Yvonne, over to you. inviting me. Um, our Labour manifesto is over on the, on the table and uh, if we're going to achieve this Labour manifesto, a thriving culture and creativity is essential here in, in Devon. So why do I say that? Um, our Devon culture is the way we think, the languages, social behaviour, customs, habits, beliefs and values, music, arts and diversity, actions, networks and relationships that hold our Devon society together. <coughs> Devon is one of the fastest growing counties in the area, and as it grows, its diversity is growing. So here in Devon, we have to create a thriving culture that promotes a set of values and creative solutions to the challenges that we face today, and if we in Labour are going to achieve our aims. The challenge in Devon today is to hold our culture onto our culture of tolerance and responsibility for each other. This is an everyday challenge with the growing dominance of the old right, which our friends in the Conservative Party um, seem to have adopted their narrative for. Um, and we, I, I am in Labour, we want to create a culture of thinking and action that fosters a more equal, caring, fairer and less violent society. And I, you know, where we have seen this happening is hate, the increase in hate crime following the Brexit vote and, and the divisions in our society. So I want to see a culture where the wealth of the family you're born into, your health, disability, age, gender, sexuality, race or religion, um, do not limit the life chances you have. Where the people of Devon's lives are made better through properly funded education, health, financial and support, based on need and not ability to pay. Um, I want us to create a culture that values the things that have no market value such as species diversity, health and well-being. I want to see a culture that ensures power, wealth and opportunity are in the hands of the many, not the few. And I know that in societies where this has happened, such as in Scandinavia, societies are healthier and happier. I want to see a culture where we plan for the future by reducing the risk of harm from climate change. I want to see a culture where we make dis important decisions on local matters, where we fully understand the impacts on all parts of our wider community and where we welcome refugees fleeing from um, war and harm. So that's the culture I want to create. In the seven years we've had a Conservative government, and what has been the effect on our culture in Devon? We've seen the gap between rich and poor widen, and gains made by vulnerable people under light labour have been um, clawed back with disabled people, their cuts to their um, independence payments. And uh, those cuts, uh, again, announced last week for cuts to mentally ill people. Uh, even the Human Rights Commission last week was saying disabled people now um, are, are, live, are left behind and live in poverty, with less than 50% having access to employment, whereas 80% of the rest of us do. So after seven years of Tory government, we have a 68% cut in the, in, in the county budget, it's 267 million. And they're actually in their manifesto, I've got it here, they actually think that's a good thing that they managed to cut that off. And they've cut that off, and they didn't need to, and they've cut it off because of their mismanagement of the economy after the banking crisis. And the impact of these cuts is being felt, let's disproportionately, on the vulnerable and the poor, and in particular women and children across Devon, um, and, and that's shocking. And in, we now, this, this last week, we see that um, with um, Osborne's cuts coming in, £6,000 we cut off single parents' budget by 2019 if they have any form of um, uh, um, uh, benefit. So that's what we've seen in, in the culture. And, um, and again, um, uh, the Institute of Fiscal Studies says that we've had the biggest rise in poverty for a generation, child poverty for a generation, with a staggering 50% increase by 2002. And when I was sitting on the 0 to 14 plus forum at the beginning of the, um, um, of the century, we had 25% poverty. We reduced it to 13% and now it's going back up. Um, so seven years of Tory government and the effects on our culture 
Theresa May talks about creating a fairer society, but actions speak louder than words, and those are the actions that we've seen in Devon. And the Brexit policies mean that social policies, economic development, infrastructure is all going to be ditched in favour of uh, um, their um, talking about Brexit and the folk white or the government's focus on this. And, um, you know, that's, that's you know, going to be terrible for, for, for us here in Devon. Um, and, you know, what's worse, they've created a culture of fear led by a false claim that shortages in the fifth largest economy are caused by immigration and not their mishandling of the economy. And they've used fear to control the way we think and vote. Um, and they've had a, got a culture of ideology which says that people should provide, families should provide for themselves and the state should be rolled back. Well, you know, that's all very good if you're built, uh, born with a silver spoon. Um, and they've seen that as a way, a, an opportunity for cutting funding for local government. And it's been cut back to the bone, and I say we want to increase funding for local government in, in, De in, 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 uh, in Devon, because this directly affects uh, culture. Uh, and in education, a protest letter was sent by Nicholas Sorota, the chair of the Arts Council, um, last week, which says that in 2016, for the first time in 2012, percentage of pupils taking at least one art subject had declined and that teachers' numbers and teaching hours in creative subjects were declining almost twice as fast as in any other subjects. Devon Conservatives can't hold their government to account for its failure to fund education, arts and creativity. We have got the lowest head um, uh, price um, uh, grant per head for pupils in the county. 200, I think it's 290 pounds less than elsewhere, and they can't get their own government to support it. And they can't get their government to support education and economic development in, in Devon. And we've seen that um, we need both education and economic development, uh, which is the powerhouse for creativities, and that we will use creativity to make life better for everybody here in Devon. Creativity, however, must be framed by a clear value system. We want creative society based on the culture and values that I have just mentioned are not based on um, lining the pockets of the few. If I can ask you to draw to a close. Right, okay. Um, we've got a survey um, in um, coming up. And what I'm saying is that the struggle for gender equality shows us that it's hard to change minds and culture. And the uh, and, uh, 50 50 representation tells us the two most influential factors, education and political cultures, are the most difficult to change. So the task is difficult. My recommendations are arts and cultures. We want to make arts and citizenship compulsory subjects at school, which they're not at the moment. Consider Exeter seeking to become the next city of culture. We want fairer funding for schools in Devon, we want fairer funding for arts activities in schools, fairer funding for local government. In the economy, we want to support creative industries here in Devon, new tech startups, research and development, to support the arts industry, to support companies trying to do new ways, uh, creative ways in social enterprises, and to support corporate social responsibility. Why Labour? We will provide three A's. To help the community find answers, to help it take appropriate actions and secure allies, allies to fight for our manifesto and in creating the culture and creativity here in Devon that we all seek.